Hello everybody, my name is Naya and I'm the Black Female Engineer. I provide content for new and aspiring software engineers and today we're talking about the five projects to have in your portfolio to just give you the best odds when you start job hunting and really start putting yourself out there. So what are they? The first type of project you want is a copycat project. Now I'm not talking about plagiarism or anything like that, let's make that very clear, but create something that already exists. So let's say, for example, Tinder, but for activism and make the layout similar and all of that, because when you show this out, it'll show employers, wow, she can make something that took a whole team to create. Now, I'm not saying have all the bells and whistles and everything, but show that you understand the basic functionalities and what would make this app run because you don't have a team, you don't have a full team. So I'm not saying act like you do, but show that you can and have the potential to work on projects like this and the best way to do that is with a copycat and say look you I am applying to tinder.com well look here here is my version of tinder but for activism so I obviously am the person for the job it really shows that you know how to make the top apps that are out in the world today you know how to bring those types of apps to life you know those core functionalities and what it takes to make them run and that is very desirable in an employee the next app you want to create is some type of search engine app now this sounds very boring but i promise you it's not one example could be a search engine but for games that's actually something i did with a team it was a search engine for board games that's what it was for board games so you could look up let's say like scrabble and it would show you all the, the different scrabble games how much they were their description and how many um people are able to play at it another example could be a recipe app which is something i also created something that uses an api data that you have to manipulate you have to fetch for you have to use and integrate into your app because a, being able to work with APIs is such a fundamental skill, such a core skill, and you want to really exhibit that you can do that. Instead of people who are maybe new to development, what you may be doing right now is creating all that data yourself well, there's a lot of resources for you out there of APIs that are already available for you for the most obscure types of app. I'll actually add a link below of different APIs you can access. About half of the apps I've built were from a list of these APIs, so I'll link them below. And you see, it doesn't have to be something boring. When people hear a search engine, they think Google. That doesn't have to be it. It can be recipes, it could be board games, it could be Pokemon characters, it could be all these different things that someone can search on their browser and it pulls up all these different Pokemon characters and all of that. The next project you want is a social media project. So this doesn't have to be, you know, the next Instagram or the next, you know, Facebook or anything. Just something with the basic core functionalities of social media. So what are those? Being able to post something, either pictures or updates or status, being able to sh like something of somebody else's, comment and delete things. These are also known as CRUD functionalities. Create, read, update, and delete. Being able to show that you can build an app with these functionalities, which is the same functionalities that all of the social media apps in the world have, is very, very important. And you can put your own spin on it. So again, it doesn't have to be the next Instagram, the next X, Y, and Z. It could be social media for, I don't even know, Quidditch players or something, some type of social media. I don't know. I don't even, I, yeah. So, <laughs> so it can be make things fun. It's so easy to just get wrapped up in creating these things with all these bells and whistles. Just make sure you're making things fun, make things according to your interests and things like that. The fourth type of app you want in your portfolio is some type of financial app. Now, why do we want finance in here? Because we want our portfolio to be the most versatile and diverse portfolio it can be where we can send our portfolio to bank of america and to you know facebook and to uber and they all see something 
that they like in there. And so that's where the financial app comes in. It shows that you can work with financial calculations, you can work with numbers. And so what examples of finance apps are there? We can do a personal finance tracker, something I also did. We can do a budgeter where a person inputs their lifestyle, their habits, and their optimum budget pops up for them. You can also do some type of stock tracker, some type of stock visualization. There are so many different ways. It doesn't just have to be like, oh, a finance tracker and everything. There are so many different ways to go about this. And again, have fun with it. Put your own spin on things. And then lastly, you need, y'all, y'all listen to this. You need a passion project. You want to show these people that you are a person with goals, with dreams and passions. It humanizes you. It puts you away from just being some other applicant number 58692 to being Naya, to being Stacy. Jeremiah, you are now a person and it creates a great connection for interviews, being able to talk about this passion project. Because for me, I had a passion project that when I started talking about it in interviews, you can see that passion. You can, it was exuding out of me, out of every sweat gland, like you could see it. And so being able to really have something that you can be proud of and it makes learning new technologies and frameworks and features easier because you're passionate about it. So make sure that in the midst of all of this, you're not forgetting about your own passion projects. Now YouTube tells me that 70% of you aren't even subscribed and yet you're enjoying my videos. Please be a part of the community. I love seeing this community grow and please let me know what you think about this video. Add a like, add a comment, and follow me on Instagram at the Black Female Engineer. So I'll see y'all later.